Thanks for joining us this evening on TKO8 Local News. The resignation of Mayor Jim Reeves highlights the Norfolk City Council's regular July session scheduled for tonight. The uh, council will also consider the filling of his position with a council member and the possible council vacancy. The meeting will be held at the Norfolk City Hall. No further details as to why Reeves abruptly resigned were made available as of news time. And police are reporting that 34-year-old Joshua Wilkerson of Mountain Home was killed in Gasville at 1117 on Sunday evening as he was crossing the road at Highway 62 and the Gasville city limits. According to the report from the Arkansas State Police, Wilkerson was crossing the highway from the north side when an unidentified westbound driver struck him. No additional information was provided on the report. Conditions were clear and the road was dry at the time of the accident. No charges have been filed against the driver as of news time. A motion to suppress evidence in the drug-related case of William Lewis of Gasville has been denied by Circuit Judge Gordon Webb. During a hearing on the motion, the argument centered on whether the uh, warrantless search of the vehicle was allowed. Lewis was driving, uh, uh, was driving and violated his constitutional right to be free of unreasonable search and seizure. 14th Judicial District Deputy Prosecuting Attorney uh, Kerry Chisholm told the court that Lewis, who was uh, on parole at the time the search took place, had signed warrantless search waivers in May and June of last year, which gave North Fork Police Officer Dempsey Thompson the right to conduct the search of a vehicle Lewis was, dri- that Lewis was driving. Judge Webb says a letter filed in the case in July 14th that uh, reviewing the facts and, and the law, he found that Thompson's search of Lewis's vehicle was both reasonable and proper, and as it applies to Mr. Lewis, legal in that he had uh, consented in advance by way of a warrantless search waiver. Lewis is due back in the circuit court on August the 3rd. He is presently an inmate of the state prison system in Arkansas. Carroll County Sheriff's Office took part in a multi-agency marijuana uh, eradication program in Carroll County last week. Sheriff Randy Mayfield held a press conference on Friday uh, to explaining that the large fine was uh, odd in nature as it appeared to be a wild growth of plant not uh, intentionally in not intentionally planted. Officials declined to identify the landowner and no charge has been filed. Plants were found in the far southern corner of Carroll County. Christopher O'Neill, Lauren Baker are both list uh, both list addresses in Helena, West Helena, but they entered pleas to charges filed against them stemming from the theft of a purse at a Mountain Home convenience store in the early morning hours of March the 15th. While the event happened in the mid-March, the couple was not arrested until May when an office stopped uh, when an officer excuse me stopped them after noticing that their vehicle matched the one described as being involved in the purse theft O'Neill pled guilty and the baker pled no contest to the charges against them and both were given 4 years of probation video surveillance cameras at the store captured O'Neill and Baker parking next to the victim's vehicle and then O'Neill reached in and took the purse and handed it to Baker the couple then drove away the purse contained two cell phones a wallet cash and other items in addition to the in addition to the time uh, of the probation restoration of some $1400 was assessed to the couple Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at some headline news from around the region as TKO8 News continues.
Edwards Grocery can't stop bringing you even more sizzling summer savings. Check out this week's deals. Whole fryers, only 89 cents per pound. While supplies last, select a variety's best choice pizza, six for $10. USDA choice boneless KC strip steaks, only $9.99 per pound in the family pack. Select a variety's Turkey Hill ice cream or frozen yogurt, two for $5. And Northwest heart healthy sweet red cherries, only $1.99 per pound. Hello, this is Michelle from Nature's Wonders. Have you been in to see us recently? If not, stop in soon to see all the changes taking place. New items have been added to our grab-and-go food section. Fresh new items are constantly popping up in our produce section, and we've added some new faces to our team. At Nature's Wonders, our mission is to grow to better serve you. So when you're in, we would love to hear your suggestions of products you would like to see us carry or how we can improve. Stay tuned for exciting new coffee selections coming soon. Nature's Wonders, next to Thompson's Ace Hardware on Highway 65. People around the country are noticing North Arkansas College as one of the best deals around. North Ark was just named one of the most affordable community colleges in the nation, costing about one third of what you would pay at a university. This fall, North Ark is offering paid internships to help students earn while they learn. Explore the full list of fall classes at northark.edu and enroll today. Enroll now. Classes start August 14th for quality, value, and convenience. Think North Ark first. We're your college. I'm Randall. I work at the on-site lab at Dental Creations on the Square at Harrison. Working with Dr. Wanda is great. She's taught me a lot and showed me a lot, and she gives us the freedom to get one-on-one with the patient. If there's a problem, we can actually come out of the back and do what's best for the patient. Having this on-site lab here with the doctors, that's really nice. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. One person is dead and another is recovering after a recent drive-by shooting in southwest Arkansas. Ashdown Police Chief Mark Adwin says that two people were shot around 1 a.m. on Sunday. The victims, whose names have not been released, were taken to a pri- but in a private vehicle to a nearby hospital. One died of a gunshot wound to the chest and the other was treated for minor injuries. Adwin says that four suspects who range in age from 17 to 22 have been detained and remain at the Seaver County Jail. No weapon from the shooting has been located as of news time. A Little Rock woman was sentenced to nine years in prison in order to pay $9 million in restitution after her sentencing in a scheme to take United States Department of Agriculture funds uh, intended for hungry children. According to a spokesperson, Chris Givens of the United States Attorney's Office, Gladys Watts of Little Rock pled guilty in March of 2016 to conspiracy to commit wire fraud. In addition to the prison sentence, Watts was also given three years of supervised release. Federal prosecutors alleged Watts and seven others were involved in the scheme, which involved feeding programs administered through the Arkansas Department of Human Services. Officials say the investigation is still ongoing. Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchison's campaign says it has nearly $1.2 million in the bank as the Republican ramps up his re-election bid for next year. Hutchison's campaign on Monday reported it raised more than a half of a million dollars over the past three months and spent more than $37,000. Hutchison, who was first elected in 2014, formally announced in May that he was seeking a second term but had already been raising money for a re-election bid. So far, no Democrats have announced a bid to challenge him. Arkansas is appealing a judge's decision to allow a medical supply company's attempt to prevent the state from using one of its execution drugs to move forward. The state has filed a notice that it is appealing Pulaski County Circuit Judge Alice Gray's order denying the state's motion to dismiss the lawsuit by McKesson Medical Surgical Incorporated who is seeking an order preventing the state from using its supply of one of 
three drugs used in Arkansas's lethal injection process. The state is already appealing an April order by Gray blocking the drug's use. The state Supreme Court stayed that ruling, which allowed Arkansas to resume executions for the first time in nearly 12 years. Gray denied the state's motion to dismiss last week. And the University of Arkansas has named a new leader for its global campus, which supports online and distance education along with workforce education. Donald P. Judges has been named vice provo for the distance education and leader of the global campus. The university says Judges has served in those roles in an interim capacity since April of 2016 and officially assumed the titles July 1. U of A says the global campus supports colleges and schools within the university in the development and delivery of online, distance, and workforce education programs and courses. U of A says it has seen increases in online enrollments over the past year, along with the development of new online courses and programs. Before we take a look at the steamy weather forecast we're having to deal with for the rest of the work week, here's the way the stock market ended today. Another hot and steamy day here in the Ozarks. Got up to 93 degrees actual temperature with the heat indices around 97 degrees, whatever. Two or three degrees really doesn't make a whole lot of difference when you're in the mid-90s and the humidity is there with it. Well, it's not going to get much better at least until maybe about Sunday when we might get a little cool down as we get some showers and thunderstorms back into the area. But the rest of the time, it's just going to be downright hot. Here's the way it looks as we move on through the work week. Wednesday is going to be another warm day out there, even a little warmer than today, perhaps, up to 94 degrees with sunny skies. Thursday, likewise, 94 degrees and sunshine, mostly sunny skies on Friday, up to 95. And Saturday, mostly sunny skies, and again, 95 degrees. Long-range forecast for Sunday. Sunday has thunderstorms coming in the afternoon, still 92 degrees, but about 50% chance that we might see some rain in the area, maybe a little cool down. Better chance as we kick off the work week on Monday. We'll talk about that later on in the week. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at sports from around the region as TK08 News continues. The time is right to enroll at North Arc this fall. For a limited time, you can attend college free if you are pursuing careers in registered nursing, surgical technology, networking, pre-engineering, IT, and more. Our future scholarships are now available to qualified applicants. Enroll now. Classes start August 14th. For quality, value, and convenience, think North Arc first. We're your college. The Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison is offering a great reason to wake up on Saturday mornings. Their incredible brunch. Starting at 7 a.m., you can enjoy all of your traditional breakfast favorites or some of these decadent dishes. Eggs Benedict, featuring an English muffin topped with ham, two eggs, made any way you like, and topped with fresh-made hollandaise sauce. Plus, you'll also get your choice of hash browns or home fries. Perhaps something even more delectable. Townhouse Cafe's fabulous U.S. farm-raised butterfly trout grilled with a drizzle of hollandaise sauce, two eggs any way you like, hash browns or home fries, and either a biscuit or toast on the side. Absolutely delicious. Saturday brunch at the Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison. Many things have changed over the years, and so has Auto Body Repair. Even though Ozark Auto Body has been in business for over 30 years, they continue to change with the times. They believe protecting the environment is important and have done so by using environmentally friendly waterborne paint from PPG. This aligns with the technology used by original manufacturers and gives you a lifetime limited warranty. Quality PPG, waterborne paint, ASC certified personnel, plus 24-hour towing service. Ozark Auto Body and Harrison, always taking pride in excellence. 
Crystal clear mountain streams, river rapids, and rolling hills with endless valleys. The beauty of the Ozarks we often take for granted. At Magnus Toyota, we never underestimate the value of our customers. As a third-generation family-owned business, Magnus Toyota has been operating here in the Ozarks for over 50 years. When we make a new deal, we make a new friend. Stop in and visit us today and see why our customers say we're the best. Magnus Toyota, your hometown Toyota dealer on Highway 65 North in Harrison. Join Sammy Klein Thursdays and Fridays during the TK08 local newscast for this week's closing livestock market report. Made possible by Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Quality Feed Grains has you covered. Everything for cattle, pets, deer, equine, poultry, seed and spray, show feed, and garden. Check their website, qualityfeedgrains.com, now for this month's special. Quality Feed Grains of Harrison and Belfont. Proud sponsors of the livestock report with Sammy Klein on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Ah, sweet Louise, do you dream of Hercules? He'll be the best, best boy in town. Where you sure are something, the best there ever was. The new Sport Heritage Line. Well, it won't mean nothing unless you try my love and bring it right to you, Louise. Only from Yamaha. Arkansas junior Dre Greenlaw was named to the preseason watch list for the Butkus Award, an honor presented annually to the nation's best linebacker by the Butkus Foundation. Greenlaw is one of 51 candidates for this year's award. Greenlaw saw limited action in 2016 due to a foot injury. He started all seven games played and finished with 42 tackles and one interception. He led Arkansas with 35 tackles through the first five games before sustaining injury in the first quarter against Alabama and posted team highs in tackles twice over the first four games. A freshman All-American in 2015, Greenlaw led all SEC freshmen with 95 tackles. The Fedville native was the only player to win SEC Freshman of the Week twice. And following a career-best season in 2016, Arkansas senior wide receiver Jared Cornelius has been named to the preseason watch list for the Paul Horning Award. The award is presented to the most versatile player in college football. Highlighted by three 100-plus yards receiving performances, Cornelius recorded 32 receptions for 515 yards and four touchdown catches while adding a rushing score in 2016. Of his 32 catches, 22 resulted in either a first down or a touchdown. The Shreveport, Louisiana product was previously named to the watch list for the Paul Horning Award a year ago. And Nicholas Costello, along with Mike uh, Matuk, went deep, and Jordan Zimmerman smothered the rolls with strikes, and the Detroit Tigers proceeded to trounce Kansas City, wow, 10-2, to to open a four-game series Monday night. Ian Kessler added three extra base hits for the Tigers. Paul DeLong homered against the New York Mets for the fourth straight game, and Adam Wainwright hit in the RBI double while winning his fourth consecutive start, sending the St. Louis Cardinals to a 6-3 victory Monday night. With runners at the corners in the bottom of the ninth inning, slugger Giannis Sapitas uh, grounded into the game-ending double play on a 3-0 pitch from Brett Cecil. John Lester bounced back from the shortest start of his career by allowing only one run in seven innings, and Chicago stopped Atlanta's ninth-inning comeback to give the Cubs a 4-3 win over the Braves on Monday night. The Cubs led 4-1 after Atlanta scored two runs in the ninth off of closer Wade Davis and loaded the bases with two outs. 
That wraps up our broadcast here for this evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us Monday through Friday at 6.30 and again at 10 p.m. As we continue to bring you local news, weather, sports, and local announcements from around the area on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Now stay tuned for more local events around the viewing area.